So from the top, yes, and and even the opening could probably move a little bit more. Yes. <laughs> spots that start creeping through, you have to move the bow. And uh, move it with, with a light feel, so don't squeeze from, from the hand, so just with very light, uh, kind of push, push, yes. Yeah, and keep the vibrato going, so the... Yeah, much better, this is much better. Now, do you know the expression with Abundant. Sounds like abundance, which is well, no, uh, uh, like uh, yeah, abundance, like uh, plenty. Uh, you know, so let's let's see how exactly what the definition of with abandon. Now, uh, the definitions I'm uh, finding have to do with reckless abandon, and that's that's not what we're talking about. It, it needs to be with breath, with, with ease of, of movement. It, it, it has to be like bigger than life. So like very free. Very free. Okay. So, uh, because if you start playing in a, a discontained way, then we start getting the blank spots in the sound, it gets stuck and not, not good. So, uh, move with abandon, but very light. From there. Oh, yeah. Give yourself good, good pyramid support, yes. Yeah, just, uh, just, uh, just is better. But I hear. So can can we get the air out of that? So uh, think a little bit more sustaining notes. So in piano, piano, piano. So uh, but sustain the second notes. So the pickup is okay. Uh, the yoga. That's what we. So and uh, again with very light bow. You see the amount of bow I'm using, so it's not the. It's this this very constrained, so with abandon. The, Wolfie in this area. So, 
so for the B, for the E flat, definitely you need to be at the lower, uh, I mean, sound point closer to the bridge. Uh, so the B flat is okay at the low sound point. But, uh, so basically, you have to shift with the bow when when you change the length of the string. Uh, instrument. Yeah. yeah, but from, uh, you know, from the color of the hair on your bow, it, it just seems that it doesn't have enough frozen. I need to find a thing that I can tell that from the color as well. Okay, now let's see how that will behave. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so Ella, as, as you uh, change your bow, so at the end of the B flat, you need to switch to a higher sound point. Yes. At the end of the note, not at the beginning of it. So start the piano. Start. Okay, let's uh, let's be a little bit more um, specific. So start at the fourth sound point, and at the end of the note, move your bow to the second sound point. At the end. So so shortly before the bow change, uh, and then play the next note. At, yes. Yeah, but the. Um, to my ear, you're starting too close to, to the bridge on, on the pickup. We want... Uh, listen. This is a gesture. It's, it's like a U-shape that you have to make with, with a bow through this. So it's not... Uh, uh, it's not too disparate sounds. It's, it's two sounds that... Yes, they have to be a, a unit. Play the play the the up bow in piano. Plus the up bow is is a quicker bow than the down bow. Right, because the value on the down bow is much longer. Right. Yes. Now, um, I know that this is going to be too big for you, but I want you to try just with my bow on my violin. So, uh, and the, the shoulder rest is going to be extremely high for you. Oh. But uh, everything else is going to be easier. Okay. So, okay? All right. So, so try, uh, try that. Try, uh, find the A flat and see the feel. Exactly. Now, do it a few times because I want you to remember what that feels like because then you will have to find it on your instrument. My mind gives it much easier to me in this register. Lower sound point. So start, start closer to the fingerboard on this with the bow. Yeah. Space. Yeah. Right. It's, it's much bigger. Right. Yes. And then... When I'm finishing, do I do it in like the middle? Like uh, where to finish the note? Like when I start playing the like C sharp, do I do it on the third sound point? Do you want to yeah, uh, th then you you can you can kind of uh, let let it be because uh, right now the problem is what you're doing on on just pick up and note of arrival. Try again, try again. Do it like three times in a row and uh, sort of try to remember the feel. Good, why? It can be, you can be even lighter. Or two or two. Mm -hmm. Okay, now let's see if you can get that on your back. Man, it's a small. <laughs> Alright, it's small, but uh, it also is a little bit wolfy, and I wanted you to get the sense of uh, the clarity. Aha! Uh -huh. the 
weight of the bow on the two notes. It's considerably lighter on the on the B flat. Are you actually doing that or I'm not? Just really? saying that, I'm I think you're skipping it. You, you might be thinking, but you're not doing it. So why? Before you change the bow, don't start adding so much pressure. So the, the up bow is still light, and then the moment you change your bow speed, you have to change the pressure. Yes. Okay, you're doing it backwards. So light, heavy, heavy. There we go. that sense of pulsation through the beats with uh, your motion being on the E string. How about we try that? up a little bit again and then it again slows down and uh, I describe this phenomenon as it's zigging when it's supposed to be zagging so can we try to keep this really even but with a nice flow just going through the string Beginning of the piece with that level of sostenuto, but it needs to have a little bit more more motion to it. 
So you have to be uh, really deep in the string for it, and then there has to be physical motion. Uh. Uh, to you and uh, they say something and uh, they're saying one thing but their face is saying a different thing you instantly know that they're lying unless they're joking and it's uh, you know that's a different thing so um, same thing with music if you're doing all of these things through but you're not really letting your being participate in that uh, it's like being alive. Yeah. yeah. So can you be more genuine in this? Because I know you feel it. So just let 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 it be. before that. Uh, that's too far. Uh, just uh, after the trills. After those, oh. yes. Uh, so they take the, the cadence, yes. Yeah, and the... Uh, Is that on what bow do we get out of the, uh, that uh, top uh, octave? Uh -huh. Are you sure it's uh, it's on that bow? Can we can we double check that? Okay. okay. Yes. And now uh, the first time around the two from those separate ones. So so can we analyze what is going on? So uh, uh, yes. So make sure that the coordination of this is really good. Uh, it, it still trips you a little bit. So good coordination between the hands. Yeah. So, uh, uh, Ella, what bothers me is this part. So it's... Uh, this has to be good. Yes. Yes, it's not. Can you, can you play? 
waiting the appropriate time for the football. So. before it and after it but so save a little bit save a little bit of your vibrato for 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 that last B flat yes yeah and now uh, can you can you plan out your bow a little bit better for your, for 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 that so you know Leave the notes before the pugitura without vibrato. Because if you're going, uh, it's, it's just not enough. So, so it's, it's all a question of uh, contrast, what we do. Yeah, and now can you, can you not crash? Uh, from that uh, in order to help you with uh, so uh, there <laughs> uh, so bring that next time I don't know if I've played that no you haven't played that and and that's why we, we were going to take a parenthetical detour to uh, to help you uh, with, with the technique on this so bring the book next time. I'll, I'll show you what to do with, with those variations and it will help here. So for right now though, are you waiting for the bow to do the bounces by itself or are you helping it with really fine motor skills on that pose? So the hand and fingers need to help a little bit. And from what I'm seeing, it's a little bit like you, you expect the bow to do it itself. Yeah, eventually it will feel like it's doing it itself, but it, it needs a little bit of help. Just, uh, do, do you see? It's, it's very small. Yeah, so uh, do you feel your third finger? Do you feel your third finger on the stick there? So the third finger and the thumb, they're almost like doing this. Pa, pa, pa. Wa, pa, pa. Yes. Now, the, uh, this, the first up bow is very important. Yeah, now, Ella, 
since we are also playing uh, such small bows, so I'm going to show this on my violin because it's uh, you know things are bigger. But uh, on the up bow, we presumably are going on an up bow motion. But actually, the bow is going to almost travel backwards if, if you if you look where exactly on the hair this thing is hidden. So look, and you, you might want to just be behind me here on this. Uh, do you see how I'm actually moving upwards on the bow, even though I'm playing an up bow? So, so that's my down bow, which is very economical. I practice stay in one place. Now, do you see where on the hair the E string is? And it's a very short note. Do you see where the, the A string and the, where the D string is on the hair? You, you do it on your violin. You will see. So, so uh, let's, uh, let's just do the E string, and uh, just remember that it's uh, you, you finished here. But now, do you see that on the A string you're starting higher on the hair, but you're using tiny bow, and then for the G string you're starting even higher on the hair, and you're using a tiny bow. Oh. So the next thing, yes. So the bow is almost going to be in one place for this. So. Uh, So we don't have to worry about the um, uh, shifting and all of that in, in, in the left hand. I just want you to, to get the, the bow stroke right there. So make sure that the down bows don't bounce. So let's bow, let's bow. doesn't hit the string just at the right place with the right part of the hair. There is no forgiveness in, in this one. It, it's just, it is not going to sound good. So this is high precision. Now, why are you getting so frustrated? Your face is telling me, oh, I should quit the violin. No, you just, you're very close to, to getting it right. But you, you, you need to make sure that the precision is there. So... So can you, you see how I'm studying? Right. Yeah, and now make those, uh, those uh, 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 much, much lighter. Just a, a tad higher from the string. Yeah. From the string. So the first note is on the string. Right. It's almost like a ricochet here. Yes. Uh, oh, come on, Ella. I, I don't know how to prop you up unless you you, you prop yourself up on this. So, this uh, so, raise this a little bit. So, uh, now let me have your bow and look the feel for this. Is it? This. Not that low, but 
up here. So raise your, your hand a little bit and the thumb. Yes, because with the low thumb and the low hand to the to the stick, you won't be able to do that. So you, you kind of yeah. Right. Right. And stay closer to the string. Eh? So yeah, don't worry about the down bow yet. So yeah, keep keep this high. You have to be now. Look, if uh, if I'm I'm doing that with low hand, and do uh, you see now how how far below the hair my thumb and just just comes just uh, this this is very slow and very stuck and very locked. So I need to so for my hand and for for how I need to handle the bow, I need uh, just. Uh, The hair needs to fall on each one of the strings. Yes. So one more time. So uh, kind of crop in the the angle of the stick to to the string because from here it needs to it needs to basically go to each one. Yes, that's it. That's it. Right. Fantastic. And now we will do da da da. Ta ta ta. Da da da. Then the next one. Yeah, uh, we have a very uh, clear starting point for the for the up bow. Ah ah ah. Ah ah ah. Ah ah ah. Let's go. Let's go. Yes. Just like this, and then uh, once it, it feels very secure, give give your brain time to process that. So practice like for a couple of days without necessarily going into into the continuous practice on this. And in a couple of days, try it the way it's written without the silences. And we will see where that takes us. Now, can we skip to the next part of the variation? Yes. Now, what is the dynamic here? What is the dynamic here? Right. So uh, now, is your is your body in, in in a position of playing forte? You need to root yourself. You need to plant your feet in uh, in the ground, and just your your whole being has to zoom. Just just think, I'm going ah. dramatic and obvious place and it's also such a cheap easy thing to do well don't miss it all those bow lifts all all of this drama that's going on please play it show it <laughs> Yes, that's the one. Yeah, keep on. Yum pa. Yes, that's yum pa. Yes, that's. So, um, could you play one more time? Because some of it is still sounds and looks a little bit disingenuous to me. So, uh, so, and just, 
you don't have to overpress or you know crush and crunch the the, the down bow, but you need to put the bow down on the string with purpose. So when I come down, put the bow as you can be on the string as the default. So. So uh, don't don't throw it, uh, but don't sit and wait before you, you play. It. So it's, it's basically placing with with control as, so like as you go. Sure. Yeah. So it's it's slightly placed, but it's not with weight. So, so there's a little bit of hesitation, uh, and in order to avoid you know uh, that, you you need to place it. is just omitted and it shouldn't be because do you see what's going on so we we, we start with our g minor chord right it goes to now, major. Uh, well, no. then then we change the harmony yes it goes to g major uh, which is you know uh, brighter and then we, we go into this um, seventh chord here which is a different harmony altogether and um, yeah uh, in, in uh, uh, dynamic lingo just needs to be the most of them and then it bursts out open uh, with, with the cadenza that, that we play here so this, this needs to be even more so uh, yes so it's not just a question of hitting it it's a question of also yes so you have to give it a little yes not yes Displacement from, from the first position we go into 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 the top register of the instrument. So so make it dramatic, just show off. And uh, it's too fast. It's too fast. So take much more time on the slide. Uh, so uh, they take much more time on that slide. Can can you really feel this this moment of elation on the on here? And then you can move a little bit forward. stops uh, as in stopping the sound the dots so all of this needs to be with just massive amount of tone The kind of like the uh, least troubled fingering, but uh, how about uh, just uh, yes? Let's let's see if uh, vibrating with the third finger will help. So do you see 
So that moment of reaching upward and then letting letting it fall down, uh, you need to expand the tempo at that point. Uh, here. Yes. Just that much since last week. 
it's like one percent of what you can grow. So for next time, I would like you to get all the way here. Uh, uh, uh. You can do that. And I really want you to give up on this side driven business because you don't need to grow to see the design driven. And put on the mental home you if you're smart enough and you, you know well enough how exactly to distribute those things. Okay? So we will continue. Uh, the, the portion where you, you play the music sounds awesome. Oh, thank you.